Hello, and welcome to the Penobscot Marine Museum's Introductory Guide to Sailing Vessels. This video will serve as a brief introduction to the maritime world by filling you in on some of the terminology you might encounter. To start off, let's talk about how I said vessels instead of ships or boats. You might be surprised to find out that ship and boat are not interchangeable terms. In a traditional sense, they mean two very different things. A ship is a vessel that has three masts, all of which are square-rigged. A boat is a type of watercraft that might be powered by sail, motor, oars, or other methods of propulsion. You will often see various larger types of sailboats referred to as sailing vessels. So, while there are many different shapes and sizes of boats, a ship's size and appearance is generally consistent. A good way to remember the difference is that a ship could carry a boat, but a boat could not carry a ship. Just because they have two different names doesn't mean that ships and other sailing vessels are completely different from one another. Both make use of masts, yards, sails, lines, and other mechanisms of sailing in order to function properly. These numerous mechanisms all have their own specific name and function. Moving forward, let's look a little more closely at the definition of a ship. To recap, a ship has to have three masts, all of which are square rigged. Now, what does that mean? Square rigging refers to an arrangement of sails in a vessel where the main driving sails are laced to yards lying square to the mast. It's the oldest known type of rig, and you could refer to something rigged that way as a square rigger. This image right here is of a square rigged ship. You can see the three masts, as well as the yards lying perpendicular to the masts. The sails are laced to those yards on all three masts, making this a ship. You can also notice that the sails are square in shape. Along with square rigging, another common type of rigging on a variety of sailing vessels is fore and aft rigging. Fore refers to forward, or towards the bow of a vessel, whereas aft refers to backwards, or towards the stern of a vessel. When a vessel is fore and aft rigged, its sails are attached to the mast or stays by their forward edge. They are set on stays, gaffs, booms, etc., and are generally triangular or trapezoidal in shape. On this image here, you can see that the sails are all attached to the masts and stays by their forward edge. In addition, they are all triangular or trapezoidal in shape. So, we can conclude that this is a fore and aft rigged vessel. Now that we know the difference between a ship and a boat, as well as two common types of rigging, let's explore some of the different types of sailing vessels. This vessel is what we would call a schooner. A schooner is a vessel with two or more masts, all of which are fore and aft rigged. In the colonial period, it was one of the most commonly built vessels in Maine. Another vessel of the colonial period was the sloop. A sloop has only one mast, which is always fore and aft rigged. Following the American Revolution, the Penobscot Bay Area began to produce brigs and brigantines. A brig has two masts, both of which are square rigged. A brigantine also has two masts. However, the foremast is square rigged, while the aftermast is fore and aft rigged. The final types of sailing vessels we'll learn to identify are barks and barkentines, which rose in popularity following the War of 1812, when Penobscot Bay's population rose and maritime markets expanded. A bark is a vessel with three masts. However, unlike a ship, all three are not square-rigged. It's square-rigged on the fore and main masts, and fore and aft rigged on the mizzen. The mizzen is the aftermost mast on a three-masted vessel, which means it is the one closest to the stern of the ship. A barkentine is like a bark in that it also has three masts. However, only the foremast is square-rigged, while the main and mizzen mast are fore and aft rigged. These are just some of the many different types of vessels and other watercraft you might encounter during a trip to the Penobscot Marine Museum. Whether you visit us online or in person, you are sure to hear some of this terminology in a lot of our pictures, paintings, objects, and exhibits. Be sure to check out our website at www.penobscotmarinemuseum.org, and you can find out a lot more about our exhibits, online collections, and our new grounds tours. Thank you for joining us.